I'm Chris Steele, Managing Director of Marquis Broadcast, and Simon Fern's our Product Manager. Um, you might have heard of uh, Mar Marquis Broadcast, or at least you might have heard of one of our other products, which is X2 Pro. We're moving from Final Cut Pro 10 to audio finishing, packing up all of that audio, um, using the rolls to help uh, lay stuff out for Pro Tools users. So our next product is works for X, is going to be all around consolidating uh, FCP projects and trimming the media to just the media that you need. So why would you want to do that? Well, if you look at the uh, resolutions we're using now, the frame rates we're using now, the compression rates you're using now, and more than anything else, the shooting ratios we're using now, project sizes can become huge. Uh, Peter Wiggins, who uh, covers the um, Tour de France, said that uh, often the shot lengths for the Tour de France are seven or eight hours long. Uh, he's got loads of cameras, and at the end of the day, he's got to put together a 40-minute uh, highlights package. So you can imagine the amount of media he's going to have compared with the finished uh, program is enormous. So particularly when you want to be able to transfer a project to something like uh, a color grading finishing session, move it off-site to another facility, the size of your project becomes really important. So what do we do? Well, we look at your, uh, your project and we identify all of the segments that you're using from your clips uh, by examining the XML from Final Cut. So we then uh, assemble all those together, adding handles, so user-definable handles, and putting them together to make sure that we catch the places where they overlap or they're using the same clip twice and what have you so that we efficiently join uh, these clips together. And then we copy just those uh, frames into new files in a, in a new folder uh, to create a set of much smaller, shorter clips. And then the final thing we do is we'll process the XML so it now points to the new media in this new folder and adjust all of the timings so that it all appears in the right place on your timeline. So, quick look at how that that works, Simon. So Simon's got a, a little project down here at the bottom. We just run through, you can, can see what it is. And if we ever open up one of those segments, we'll see how long the clip is. So we can see it's, it's about a tenth of the length of the clip. So what we're going to do is take this one project and export it. We're going to put it out, uh, save the XML. We could do a share too, but, um, and open up works for X. Find that XML and hit the processing. So it's going to tell us how much space it thinks it's going to, to do, and it's going through and uh, copying all of that media. Um, moments, uh, a couple of caveats on the media that we're, we're um, processing. We're, we're not processing MXF at the moment, uh, but all other thoughts, we are pretty well. So we've exported that. So can we um, re-import the new XML into a new library? OK, so here's the folder, and you can see all of the uh, QuickTime files and the WAV files that we've just created uh, in the demo. So if we open up that, and we'll put that on the timeline, looks like it's exactly the same, right? But if we highlight that one segment again and open that up, you can see it's just the segment length with the two second handles. So we've saved a massive amount of space um, in a really simple, quick procedure um, and that's exactly what we do. New app, come and visit our website, works4.com. It's on the App Store, has been on the App Store since Wednesday, so a really fresh app. Um, I'll come and see us at uh, NAB. Thank you very much. <laughs>